on this first class, I'm gonna talk a little bit how to prepare our sin for grooming. So here we got berry bacon or pig geometry. On the right side, there's an image of our main reference, which is what you're aiming to in the end. And on the object level, we have a subnetwork, a camera that matches our reference, and some viewport lights. If you are working on newer versions of Houdini, you might notice that your viewport can get a little bit slowly when you move to high quality lighting. If this happens, go to your display options, the D, a uh, shortcut D if your mouse is on the viewport, and go to material tab and uncheck transparency. So our viewport's light consists of a distant light and a sky dome. This sky dome has an ATDR applied to it. Inside our subnetwork, we got a geometry node where our pig actually lives on. We started uh, this model on Houdini's piggy head, but then since it is a tiny different from on my actual references, some extra scope was needed to it. So the artist Bruno Coimbra gave us a little bit of shaping to match a bit closer on our references. And then we got a file cache where we're reading this object, and then you can check their properties. So we are going to do one attribute cleanup, attribute delete actually to remove any unnecessary attributes, also a group delete to remove any groups they are not currently using, and then we are going to do the same with the eyes, that in this case is on a separate file. Well, always check if your head is on actual word space scale. You can use the grid to have an idea of its actual size. In our case, it was on the wrong scale, so I scaled it down to match closely. If you see on the grid, the number 1 means from the point zero to that is 1 meter, so our pig heads more closely to what an actual pig might be about. And I always add a normal node to actually add normals to points instead of vertexes. In the end, I will have two outputs. One is the geometry that I use to actually groom it, and the other one is a geometry for rendering and for displaying. This keeps the workflow cleaner, and then we don't have to keep coming back and forth to switch geometries. In our groom geometry, we have the mouth interior. We don't really need it for the groom, so remove it. Like, we don't have to worry about painting masks or like miscombing because of this. If we put a blast node, we can quickly select the faces to delete it. When you start selecting it, you can see that it's actually being selected uh, behind the mouth interior as well. So we can toggle the eye icon to prevent it. But selecting on the viewport can be really difficult. So one option is to move to the UV and do the selection in there. We can manually select this, or we can go to the UV connected geometry as well and quickly select anything that is on the same UV island. So now we'll have less geometry in there and you we'll keep polishing it until you're happy with the result. 